Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I've, uh, okay. Um, my name is James. Uh, I'm 25 years old. I am a mix of uh, cultures. I'm half Palestinian, half English. I grew up most of my life in Abu Dhabi and I studied in the UK for university. And I embraced Islam five years ago when I was 20 years old. I would say I was Christian, but not, you know, as the majority of people are not really doing much, just go to church when, you know, there's a funeral or, or maybe a marriage or something like that. Uh, I, did, you know, I did go to Bible school and stuff when I was younger, but it wasn't, very, it wasn't something serious. It was more just, uh, just something that people did. Uh, it wasn't very religious family. One of my friends got into his religion um, and I noticed changes like he he stopped hanging out as much he would uh, you know do his prayers and stuff so I eventually asked him what are you doing you know like what's wrong with you so he said nothing he said you know I'm, this is the way and he, he told me a bit about Islam and then I was like okay I want to know uh, I started watching videos and you know, I got into it slowly, slowly. I started watching these videos about uh, Islam and what it meant and stuff. Uh, and then there just came a point one day, I don't know why, I just, I believed it. I was like, this is real, this is true, this is, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's clear, it's, uh, it's the correct answer for, for things in life, you know, it helps me, it gives me a purpose. Uh, yeah, okay, I know, but I don't want to be Muslim, you know. My, I, why? I don't want to change my life, I don't want to have to you know, change my friends, whatever the reason, there's all these things going through your head. But slowly, slowly, you know, events happened in my life and I started praying. So I decided that, okay, I won't be a Muslim, but I'll pray. I'll just, you know, I'll say, God, just guide me, show me, you know, show me the right way. So I'd, I'd wake up in the morning, I'd do a prayer, and I'd say, you know, just show me the right way. I did that for months, you know, I'd wake up and pray, without any reason, just, you know, no, no like particular way or anything. Uh, there'd be days where I'd wake up and I didn't pray and I'd, I'd feel something missing from that day. I'd feel that there's something, you know, there's something really nice about the prayer and, you know, the meditation side, the, the whole, uh, uh, just generally feeling good for the day. After that, uh, there were some events that happened. I told my family, like, I want to be Muslim. They said, you're crazy. I said, why? And they said, because you're not Muslim, you can't, you know, you can't convert, etc., etc. There was some, um, you know, complications with the family. The police came and visited me. So because they thought I was some kind of, uh, I've, I've been just brainwashed or something. So I, I'm, I'm just sleeping one day. It was, I think, 6.30 or 7. I hear a big bang on the door. I open the door. It's the police. And they, they questioned me for a while and they sat with me and, they, you know, etc., etc. But I'd come to know later that my... My auntie, she, she'd call them just because she was worried about me, you know. Uh, I look back on it now and I said, you know, it's okay. I mean, I don't, I don't hold anything against it. It was, it, was, it was something that I understand where she came from at the time, you know. And I, and I love her for it in, in a sense because she cared for me. So she wanted me to be, you know, she wanted to make sure that I was okay. Uh, the police visited me and they spoke to me and you know, it's very, very quickly the guy realized there's nothing wrong with me. Like, it's just like, I just decided a different way in life, you know. So he came in and he apologized. He's like, look man, I'm sorry, we didn't, you know, we didn't mean to... Uh, this happened when I was in the UK, by the way. And he said, I don't mean to, to bother you and stuff. And I know that, you're, you know, there's nothing wrong, but this is just procedure, it's formalities, we have to... It's just the way we treat any, any such uh, case or whatever thing that comes into the office. And then he just started talking about football and stuff, and then we just got along, and he's like, yo, I'm very sorry again, and he left. And then two days later, after that event, I decided that was my sign. I'd been delaying it for a long time. I decided uh, to take the shahada and I became Muslim. I, I knew it from, from when I first started listening. I just knew in my, in my heart that that was right. Like, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't deny it. I knew that there was truth in it. Like, there was no... Whatever way I tried to find something wrong with it, it was just me personally saying... You know, just, you know, scared. That was it. But there was nothing wrong with religion. It was just me personally finding things that I wanted to, 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 to just make an excuse, really. And I guess that happened as a result of me delaying, delaying, delaying. It was just a lot, you know, God's push to say, just do it. Just get it done with. Everything in life is hard. You just, you have to go through it and then you become much stronger on the other side. I had, I had many concerns, uh, you know, of, of course, family, friends, um, they're the major things. Uh, everything else is uh, a bit easier, I guess. 
you know, like prayer and that. There, there's no problem with that. Uh, you know, obviously, family they don't want to. They don't want to hear these things about you. You know, your friends. They some friends. Some of your friends might say, "He's changed. We, we're not going to be friends anymore." But actually, you find that these concerns they just they get blown over very quickly and people move on very quickly and people actually love you and respect you more after you, you've done it and you go through that initial tough stage. Yeah, when I embraced Islam, it was different. It was, uh, it, it, obviously it wasn't like a hallelujah moment, but it did, it did affect me in the sense that, okay, I have a duty now. I should pray. I should do certain things. I should be good to people. It's given me, a, a, you know, a purpose, a, a reason to get up in the morning and every day and to, to, to work hard and, and yeah, it's, it's giving me peace, you know, even if stuff goes wrong, you keep trying, you keep going. Yeah, you do, you do have concerns, obviously, of practicing Islam, especially when you live in a Western country like the UK or, or wherever. Um, you know, there aren't many mosques and etc. But if you stick with the right crowd, you'll find it much, much easier. If you just hang out with the right people, you realize that it's, it's actually much easier than, than you, you put your mind into it. Like people, you know, it's normal, it's the same as anything. Yeah. You just have to get into it, routine, and it's done it. Ask God to guide you and ask Him to give you strength and, and, and if you really want something, whatever it may be, you have to take the steps and you have to move forward with, and take action so that you can achieve that. Uh, you know, I'm sure within a very short period you'll find that uh, it was the best decision you've ever made.